Hello, this is Cristina Arellano. I work as a senior photonic expert for BPI Photonics. Since the last years, photonic integration technologies have been developed considerably, increasing the number of elements enclosed on a single chip as well as their functionalities. Nowadays, the number of elements per chip reaches up several hundreds and is expected to be doubled every two and a half years. For this, we have developed the BPI Component Maker Photonic Circuits, a simulation environment for modeling of photonic integrated circuits and semiconductor devices. It supports the modeling of PHCs that can comprise a large number of elements inside, which can be passive, active and dynamically tunable. It comes with a large library of components and demonstration examples. Besides, it includes enhanced visualization and analysis tools for displaying all signal characteristics, as the spectrum, waveform, dispersion, chirp, group delay, eye and constellation diagrams. The circuit simulation is based on the segmentation of the circuit into building blocks. Building blocks are represented with S-matrices, analytical or behavioral models. Some of the building blocks may be solved with physical modeling tools, following exact geometries in a 2D or 3D representation. Results of physical simulations may be used as an input to the circuit simulator. The circuit simulator joins all pieces again and solves the circuit as a whole. Within the library of active components, we find models for laser, SOA, DBR, AIM, also for LEDs and biorefrigation waveguides. There is also a universal module, the Photonics TLM, for representing any other kind of semiconductor device. Among the passive elements, we find waveguide straight, bend, coupled waveguides, ring resonator, ring coupler, MMI, star coupler, and other structures more complex as AWG or multi-ring filters. Ports in active and passive devices are intrinsically bidirectional. Their representation can be changed in a very easy way. The library of electrical elements comes with basic modules as resistor, capacitor, inductor, voltage and current sources. They are used to form more complex devices as operational amplifiers or voltage and current control sources. It contains a large number of libraries of photonic, optoelectronic and electrical elements, which can be combined in the same setup. Passive circuits, consisting of only linear elements, are modeled in the frequency domain. Circuits with active, non-linear and dynamically tunable elements enforces to use time domain simulations. When combining elements of different nature, the program applies the genuine time and frequency simulation domain, providing fast and accurate results. We are going to explore an example of an EQ transmitter. This device has been designed and fabricated in the framework of the research project MIRTEL. The circuit simulators make possible investigations of system performance caused by technological limitations, as for example, reflection in active passive transitions, reflections at the end of the chip, chirp, alignment of the phase shifters, or fabrication tolerances. Let's have a look at the building blocks. First, we find the laser. We open the parameter editor and see how it is configured. In the first set of parameters, we select the type of active region, bulk or multi-quantum, the length, width and thickness. In optical parameters, the main ones are the reflection at the facets and group and effective indices, which will define the type of material used. In nonlinear parameters, it is possible to define the care effect through the nonlinear index and the two photon absorption effect. Also, it is possible to define a grating in the laser. Carrier dynamics and gain characteristics can be adjusted. There are several models for defining the spontaneous emission. Connected to the laser, there is an MMI element performing the 1 to 4 splitting of the signal. Let's look at the parameters inside this module. It is described analytically by the self-imaging MMI model or by an S-matrix loaded from a file. It has different types of operation, general, end-to-end, coupler, 
a splitter and combiner. We can also display the internal field distribution. The next elements are the electroabsorber sections. They are fed by the electrical driver, which is a galaxy that contains the data generators and the electrical code drivers. The AIM modules, similar to the laser, are defined by the type of active region, multi-quantum or bulk, the dimensions, optical parameters and carrier dynamics. Here, instead of the gain parameters, we find the absorption parameters, the absorption peak, absorption frequency, absorption bandwidth and their dependence with the applied voltage. After that, to account for possible distortions produced when connecting two different waveguides, we find the module junction. Like this, we represent possible reflections caused by the interfaces between active and passive parts. The straight waveguides are used as phase shifters. This and the rest of the modules support two fundamental modes, TE and TM. The next element is a 4 to 1 coupler, again modeled by the MMI module. At the end of the transmitter, there is an optical amplifier, another active module. Many of its parameters are common to the laser. Let's run the simulation. We are going to display the constellation diagram generated by the transmitter. It is a 56 gigabit per second DQPS key modulated signal. Here we see the internal distribution of the field in the MMIs. One of the main benefits provided by the graphical user interface is the availability to sweep parameters in an easy way. For instance, we can sweep the width of one of the MMIs to see the impact of fabrication tolerances, because in the reality, the dimensions of the fabricated device may oscillate in a range of plus or minus 0.2 micrometers. The impact of the laser chip can be seen directly in the constellation diagram. We have demonstrated the versatility of PPI component maker photonic circuits for the modeling and optimization of photonic integrated circuits, all together in a single personal computer. Thank you very much for your attention.